The Hyperloop is a vision for the future of transportation. A few years back, Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX and Tesla, thought of this Hyperloop. And that's why he started a competition. He called for student teams from around the world to think about what their vision of the Hyperloop is. The idea of the Hyperloop is to have a closed tube with very low air pressure inside of it. And you can shoot little trains through it that will go close to the speed of sound, levitating off the ground with no air resistance. They are actually building a test tube which will be a mile long in front of the headquarters of SpaceX. All the teams will get to test their pod inside of the tube and the fastest one will get a prize and the technically best pod will get a prize. The Munich team has a great concept. They already built a pod that can be sent through a tube. So this is a really exciting concept because it shows how transport in the future could look like. La colaboración ha sido muy interesante. Hay personas de diferentes campos, por ejemplo, hay informáticos, hay ingenieros mecánicos, ingenieros eléctricos. Muchos son de diferentes países, no todos son de Alemania. In Hyperloop we have five subsystems, which is levitation, computer, braking, compressor, and batteries. Everyone is so keen to share their knowledge, which is really amazing. For me, unglaublich toll, dass wir da miteinander so was Großes anstoßen können und äh, gemeinsam was vorwärts bewegen. Bei diesem Projekt habe ich wirklich gelernt, was es heißt, miteinander zu arbeiten. Das heißt, wenn einer ein Problem hat, dann hilft man sich gegenseitig. Nun, ich war 1993 im Weltraum für zehn Tage auf dem Shuttle. Zuverlässigkeit steht mit Abstand an erster Stelle in der Raumfahrt. Ich mich da reinsetze, muss ich wissen, ich komme heil oben an und heil wieder zurück. Und deswegen steht Zuverlässigkeit wirklich an allererster Stelle. Nun, Hyperloop ist ein sehr herausforderndes Konzept und Projekt, um das Ganze in den Griff zu bekommen bei beliebigen Geschwindigkeiten und es dabei sicher zu machen. Das ist für mich die größte Herausforderung. Especially when it comes to safety critical products, you have to rely on their correct function. We are using swedge lock components on our braking system. So we have to be sure that the pod can stop in time. We have to be sure that the brakes are activated in the right moment and it is reliable. I trust Swedge Lock for this project because we have always good experience with it. Because we know the products, because we know the people. Immer wissen, dass wir uns darauf verlassen können, dass wir auch Hilfe kriegen, wenn wir sie brauchen. Und das war der Grund, warum wir uns für Swedge entschieden haben. Das ist ein sehr praktisches Projekt, wo Sie neben Ihren Vorlesungen einfach ähm, neue Herausforderungen, neue Probleme lösen können. Probleme, die es vor Hyperloop vielleicht noch gar nicht gab, Gedanken, die es noch gar nicht gab. Building a Hyperloop is much more practical than a normal lecture in university. When it really comes down to building something, you need to go into so much more detail than just making preliminary calculations. And what I've really learned in this project is that there's a lot of aspects of a project that just come up when you start building something. That there's things you would have never thought about. And as soon as you start working on them, you notice, okay, I've got something here or this is more challenging than I thought. So what building something is, is really thinking of every detail to make it work. We have technical details that were too complex for many other teams. We have a compressor in our pod. What the compressor does, it sucks away the air from the front, compresses it and pushes it out the back, which literally gives you zero air resistance. And we made it work. The Swagelock sponsorship of the Hyperloop team means a lot to us. And it's a great thing because it's an international competition. And we deal with something that is mind-boggling. I think it's something so innovative and it could affect everyone and anyone in the future because it could be our future transportation.